Hello, and welcome back to Your Favorite Reviews YouTube. As you can see, I suck my hair back in my head. I needed it for my brain. Anywho, uh, our friend Red Cub Lifestyle gave us a great idea. He said to review his favorite flaming hot pork rinds. So, I decided we're going to do something new. It's going to be a comparison review. So, we're going to rate three different kinds of flaming hot pork rinds. I got just in the red cup lifestyle. I got them numbered on here. On the, our number two review we did with sticky notes and they're working perfect over here. Uh, so we're gonna start actually with number two just cuz. All right, this one we got, uh, it's got this red powder on it. It kind of like a Cheeto, which is good, maybe, but it's gonna get your fingers all dirty. Anyway, we're going to try this one. Hmm. It's got a good bacon flavor. Kind of like a kind of like pork rinds. Mm. Mhm. Mm okay. So I like you kind of get some some spicy flavor right at the beginning. Ooh. And then after the beginning mm-hmm mm-hmm those are good but we got to see what the other ones have in store so we'll move on up number three here we go now these ones are not as red they're just kind of a little more tan so I don't know if you like your pork tan or if you like it red but these guys are tan so let's give it a tasty mm-hmm okay also good Mm-hmm. Oh, but mm, spicy is a little bit different. A little different flavor. Let's get another one. Hmm. Now, I think this number three is actually a little bit spicier than that number two. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit spicier. So if you like your spicy pork, this is one. Let's get another one just for a good measure. Mmm, mmm. Tastes a little more like cardboard. Probably like it's got a better spices, but a worse, worse good pork. Yeah. So now we gotta try number one. Now this ones, they're not red. They look like they got some kind of pepper crap on there. So let's see if it's even spicy. the heck you've got to say spicy somewhere on the bag but they oh there's a spicy but it's kind of like sweet when you first eat it I was not expecting that I thought it was gonna be peppery and crap look at that it's got the little specties on there hmm hmm Let's see if we can get some spice going mmm there it is mm-hmm Hmm, you know, I gotta say, they all kind of get your fingers dirty, so that's that's a tie on all of them, is if you want dirty fingers, they all tie, that's good. Um, honestly, I'm thinking, because this one, hmm, this one tastes more like just, oh, there's more spicy coming. I'm feeling that. I think for flavor of the rind, Number two wins for flavor of the spicy. Number one wins. And for the most one that is like cardboard, number three wins. So let's take a gander at the inside of these bags and find out which one. Oh, shoot. Find out which one is which. All right, here we go. So we got to do some investigating. Oh, yeah, okay. Max, that's the peppery one. So that goes right here. And then let's check the slam jam. Oh yeah, that's the freaking Cheeto y one. So that's number two. And that would leave this one as the bacon eats. So 
Slam Jams wins on the uh, flavor of the freaking rind itself. But it got it said squealing hot on that one. I wasn't squealing though, so that's false advertising. But we got Max on the good spice. It's like kind of sweet, and then it's spicy, and then it's even more spicy. You get a good one after that. And then the bacon, bacon eats, they got tasting like cardboard, not like bacon. So I don't really, I don't really know. Overall though, I think, I think honestly that Slam Jam, Slam Jam has it. They got the spicy and they got the porky. Slam Jam's wins everybody. So go out and get yourself a Slam Jam. Pork rind. Not a stick, those sticks. No, that's like weird chicken crap. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I did take a little bit of time off because I was on vacation, and then I got back, and I didn't feel like making videos for like a week. Anyway, we're going to have a lot more coming your way soon, so don't forget, you got to like it, you got to subscribe it, and you got to hit the bell on it because then if you do all that, somehow I'll make money eventually. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody.